What's up everyone, it's Sean Ramprasad here with TMG The Mortgage Group. Today I'm coming to you with a kick-ass video about everything the banks are looking for in regards to credit. So this video is called the five C's of credit and I'm gonna explain those five C's of credit to you today. The uh, first uh, C of credit is character. The second is capacity. The third is capital. The fourth is collateral and the fifth are conditions. So these are all the things that the bank is taking into consideration when they're approving a person for a loan. It could be a mortgage loan. That's what I do for a living. I'm a mortgage broker or it could be any other type of loan. So this is applicable to car loans. It's applicable to you getting a cell phone. It's applicable to all types of loan. These are the things the bank is considering. So. What do they mean and what are potential lenders looking for? So first of all, let's talk about character. The reputation of the buyer or the borrower, that's what character is. So we can check your reputation by pulling your credit bureau, such as the Equifax Credit Bureau or the TransUnion Credit Bureau. I've got other videos on, uh, on the credit bureau on how to repair those, but it, that is how they find your reputation, okay? They're gonna look at uh, all of the different factors on the credit bureau, including overall rating, how long you've had credit, uh, do you pay your bills on time, that type of thing, uh, to establish if your character is good enough for them, okay? So by viewing these, they look at repayment history, lenders want all of your trades to have a minimum payment made within 30 days, okay, of, uh, of your bill. On the credit bureau, uh, it'll be reported as a one. So it could be like an R1 if it's revolving credit, revolving credit being like credit cards or lines of credit or that type of thing. Or uh, it could be a different uh, one depending on the type of loan it is, okay? So that's in regards to your character. Number two, uh, they're gonna check overall credit score. Uh, they'll check that there's not too many inquiries on your bureau. So if you're out there just trying to get credit left, right, and center, that looks bad on your character. So if you got 20 pulls in a year, that looks like you're trying to get credit everywhere. Don't do that. Uh, it'll drop your credit score, okay? Uh, they look to make sure that there's no money owing on collections or to Revenue Canada. If you owe money on your tax bill, they're not gonna lend you money. Okay, the Revenue Canada always gets paid first. Uh, they also check your character by ensuring uh, no one's suing you, such as landlords, that type of thing. So this is another example of character. Uh, next is capacity. So can you afford to pay the bill? Uh, they're gonna look at, do you make enough money to pay the bill? So uh, they'll look at like your employment letters or, uh, or your T4s or your notice of assessment. Like, can this person afford to pay these bills? Okay. Uh, in mortgages, for example, they use a number called a total debt servicing ratio, TDSR, okay? Basically, it's your total debt versus your total income. The number has to come uh, to a maximum of 44% to qualify for a mortgage, okay? Uh, they're also gonna look at, is this person's employment stable or is their income stable? So for example, if you're employed at, um, I don't know, Tim Hortons or something like that, uh, you get an hourly salary. Does the employment letter say that you get 40 hours a week and that you're full-time? That's what I call stable. Okay, another thing I would call stable is a salaried position. That is a very stable employment. You know that money's coming. I make 70 grand a year, that's it, okay? So that uh, creates further stability for you. Um, other than that, they will consider uh, you overall uh, in your debt capacity. It, does this person have the capacity to pay off this debt every month? Can they make their, these payments based on the other debt that they have? Okay. Third is capital. Do you have enough money for the down payment? Okay. Uh, they will look, they'll look at other assets and any other uh, liquidable assets that you have. So for example, if you're going to try to get a mortgage and you own another property right now that has a hundred thousand in equity in it, you're more likely to get that loan because you have that equity. They know that they can sell the property if for any reason you lose your job and you're not paying your bills, okay? 
Uh, they look at cash, jewelry, real estate, vehicles, if you have a vehicle paid off as liquidable uh, assets. Uh, number four in the five C's is collateral. Do you have equity or property you could put up against these loans? So there's one thing called a blanket mortgage that I've done for a lot of investors. And basically what they do is they look at the overall uh, real estate portfolio and uh, they base their approval based on that. So they can put a blanket mortgage over all of these if you have enough liquid assets. So that is collateral, okay? Next is conditions. This is the reason you're applying for credit. Uh, if it's for a property to live in, they'll take into consideration you no, no longer will have rental expenses. So that could be a condition is that you're no longer renting and, uh, and you're just owning this property. Um, Guys, my name is Sean Rampersad. I want to thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe to the channel. I'm doing tons of and tons of mortgage videos and finance videos. Uh, so if that's something that interests you, I am the easiest way to get approved for a mortgage in Canada and I have the lowest rate. So please give me a call anytime if you have any questions. And uh, if you do have any general questions, please put it in the comments below so that I can answer those and other people will be able to get that answer. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.